Let's check out how to make this graffiti composition here in Illustrator. Step one, select the type tool, click, type in whatever you want. I gotta scale it up. I gotta choose the mango bold italic, right click, create outline, go to object, pattern, click on make, and I gotta go to the grid, and I gotta go to brick offset, and change up the number until it's gonna offset a little bit more. I like it on one slash three, click on done, delete the text, I gotta select the rectangle, create a rectangle, and let's go to offset path. I gotta offset mid minus 80, click OK. I gonna delete the external rectangle, and I gotta click on it and go to the swatches and select the new pattern that we created. I also wanna rotate this, so I gotta go to the object, transform, and select rotate. And all I need to do is, whoops. We're gonna need to uncheck transform object. 36 is good, click OK. This is gonna be the background. I gotta create a new artboard and now we're gonna do the bubble text. Select the type tool, I gotta to type in Panther and I gotta to go to the fonts and select the love bubble bold. This one right here, right click, create outline. I gotta also remove the axis here with the direct selection tool. I gotta to select the direct selection tool. I'm gonna to select the internal X, press on delete, delete again and this also and i'm gonna need to do some stylization on this typo so what i'm gonna do is stylize the letter a and the letter e because they look kind of unclear but as you can see we got a couple of anchor points so it's we're gonna have a little bit of difficulty you know stylizing these so what i'm gonna do is go to the object path and select simplify and here i'm gonna pull this somewhere in the middle or less or more, I think this is good. And now we only have a couple of anchor points. Now I can select the direct selection tool, select this, and I'm gonna go here to the convert, rounded, so it's gonna look something like this, and I can customize the lines however I like. Oh, nice, look at that. I can do the same thing with the number three. After you're satisfied with the results, you can pull the text on the pattern, make sure that it's on top, right click, arrange, bring to front, Choose a color, I gotta go with orange, and I gotta position the text however I like. I gotta try it out like this. I select all the text, press and hold shift, deselect the pattern, right click, release compound path, and right click, group. I gotta put it here, scale it up, and I gotta go to the 3D materials, go to object, go to inflate. I gotta activate the ray tracing. Let's go to lighting, scroll down, activate the shadows, and you can go to the materials, scroll down, and you also can customize the roughness to look more plasticky. And I also gonna press Control C, Control V, and I gotta go to the properties, delete the 3D materials on this, and I gonna swap it from fill to stroke here, click on the stroke so it's gonna be at the top, and change up the colors, and I gotta go with some darker orange, position it on the text, and increase the stroke, and it looks something like this. Thanks for watching.